So we dubbed him a warlord. So me and one other guy, Mark Beckstrand, and he's one of the founding members of, of this sport in Utah. And so he started the group in Provo that everybody knows. Um, he got me started, and then he and I are best friends. And just, we were here last week, it was a public night, so we got to come. And we just saw how Jacob was leading. We've known Jacob for years, he's an amazing person. And we just looked at each other and we're like, hey, it's time. Like, let's, let's have him take a knee. And so it was an amazing moment where we like he was leading the group and everybody's paying attention to him and he paused for a minute and we stopped him and mark was like jacob make sure take a knee you know and uh, we both put our swords on his shoulders and we dubbed him a warlord it was it was quite the moment uh, there's no formal application definitely to become a warlord a warlord is a leader of a realm or group of foam fighters. The emphasis and the focus that I've tried to cultivate in the Knights of the Y are focusing on people. And that people are what's important. Sword fighting is the activity that brings us together. And the beautiful thing is that it's inherently an honor game. Like you have to be honest, like you call your own shots. And I believe that fits perfectly in with the code of knighthood. So we hold to this love, this honor, and to be purposeful, not only in our interactions with others, but on the battlefield. Sir Brendan Every swing. And a warlord ought to exemplify those traits that they want to see in their world. Being able to delegate, being able to lead, being able to serve and lift others, being able to help everybody get better. He's, he's a natural born leader. Jacob is everything that you would look for in a warlord for this sport, essentially who's somebody who cares very deeply, first and foremost, about the people in the sport and the people on the field over the game itself. I think a lot of what I've done here has taken that foam fighting and that emphasis on virtues in foam fighting and combined them. So people get a full emotional release, a physical workout, and a spiritual rejuvenation all in one go. For honor, for love, for pure purpose of heart. We knight him. Sword fighting and Belagarth and Battleguard have, they've really made a huge difference for me in my life. It's taught me control, discipline, as well as just general honor and how to treat others and what's a good way to go about doing things. I've, I've taken away so many things just aside from just the be ability to be able to sword fight, just to grow as a human being and as a person. Three cheers! Huzzah!